Tis the season. Happy holidays. Tis the season to be stressed out and overwhelmed if we're not careful, right? This is Rebecca Fleetwood Hessian, host of the Badass Women's Council podcast. And I've taken the opportunity over the last couple of weeks to ask some of the badass women that have been on the podcast, what are their holiday helpful hints? So here we go. Eliza, here we are. We're at the holidays. Can you believe it? <laughs> I say that every year when it gets to the holidays. I can't believe it's the holidays. And then here it comes every year. I know. It's like <laughs> it, it goes from, well, here in the Midwest, we go from 80 degrees to snowing in 48 hours. Yeah. So here, yeah, yeah. we're not going to talk to you about weather because you're in California and I don't want to hear about it. Same, same. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of tips, holiday hacks, whatever you want to call it for us badass women busy working? Because I know for me, you're already full tilt, right? You've got home and the job and the kids and all the things. And when the holidays come, I always feel like they're coming at me. It's like the yeah. tornado that I can feel coming across the, the, the plains. And I'm like, here it comes. I got X number of days to get this thing figured out before yeah. it hits me. Yeah. So yeah. What, what are some of the tips that you would give our listeners for holidays? Yeah. And there's this big energy around it too, isn't there? It's, you know, here's the holidays and all of the commercials and no matter what holiday you spend or what holiday you celebrate, you can't kind of get away from it. And there's the buildup. Um, there's the buildup of the holidays and then the holidays happen. Then there's the buildup of the new year and, and it, there's this energy that builds around it. Um, and so for me, I'll actually tell you what I, what I do for myself, um, which took me a long time to learn is that the holidays is when I would start to make all these excuses for why all of my self-care could kind of wait, right? Because I'm too busy and I have all this and I have all that. And, uh, you know, all the things that you do around the holidays. I believe that it's never more important to do the tiny self-care things than over the holidays. It's so cliche. Self-care is such a cliche term, but I, I live by it. Um, I, no matter what, over the holidays, it's 10 minutes. I get 10 minutes each day and I do something productive with that 10 minutes for my well-being and for me it's I my you know my sort of power hour <laughs> moment in the morning is to start my day intentionally on purpose a certain way right and so I wake up and even before I've opened my eyes everybody can do something before they've opened your eyes unless listen I get it for the moms who've had new babies and how many of us have been woken up the bottle, the baby or the breast, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like constant. Um, but if you have the ability to wake up without something lying in your arms, like a child, you can easily set your intention for the day. And for me, it's just quick gratitude list or, you know, the universe is always taking care of me or something that just primes my brain for, hi, we're here. We're okay. We're grounded here's how I would like my day to go. And there is nothing more important for me, especially during the holidays, than being intentional with how I start my day. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say my biggest holiday tip is to put you as the top, there's nothing more important in your day than you having that moment to yourself. And it makes you a better wife, mom, colleague, yes. all, all the places that you want to show up your best self, especially in the holidays, it's worth it to take the time. Every time it makes right. you, it makes you better. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Without a doubt. I love that. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, of course. 